What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another fantastic video. If you notice, I'm in a different environment today. I am. I'm in uh, Iowa currently finishing up a festival. I was working the past three weeks, I think, pretty much living on site. I'll have a link somewhere in this video to either my other YouTube channel with like what I do for work and my travel vlogs or like to my, maybe my music industry related work experience if you wanna learn more about what I do. But basically, I travel a lot for work and when I travel, that means I fly. And take off. I am on an airplane at least six to 10 times a month, pretty much guaranteed. And this video is a little bit different from what I usually talk about on this channel, but I think this could be helpful for some people because I have these, discovered these things for myself and it's helpful to me, so maybe there's somebody watching who needs this as well. I think we could help each other. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to overcome the fear of flying, specifically when you're on an airplane and you hit those moments of turbulence. What can you do to overcome the fear, anxiety, stress, of being in the air in this metal contraption that's just shaking all over the place, right? We're down, we're going down. Now I will say these tips are based on my own experience. Again, I travel a lot, I travel very frequently, and I have not read any articles online about like how to overcome the fear of flying. This is purely based on what I do when I have those moments of like insecurity or anxiety and I'm like, freaking out about being on this airplane. This is what I do and it works for me. So take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> I will say though that some of the tips that I have, I have done some research and discovered sort of why that works or why that has worked for me. And I'll mention that throughout this video as well. Now, if you're wondering why am I wearing these glasses, I don't actually wear glasses. I mean, I think I'm kind of supposed to, but I don't. These are some blue light glasses that I got because I do so much work in front of a computer. And these glasses are from OcuShield. They sent these out to me and uh, I'm giving them a try. Sponsorship. They feel really comfortable and I kind of like the way I look. I look smarter, I think. I don't really know much about the science behind blue light glasses, but if you do, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Does it work? So the very first thing that I do when I start to feel that anxiety and fear of being on an airplane, there's turbulence, et cetera. The first thing I do is I make sure I have headphones on with music to drown out all the craziness around me. If I'm freaking out on a plane, there's a good chance that there's somebody else or other people freaking out on the plane as well. And the last thing you wanna hear is people screaming around you or babies crying or some somebody freaking out because they I don't know, spilt their Diet Coke on their lap or something. Apparently some idiot spilled Coke on the transmitter. But using headphones can help you block out all the crazy noise that happens around you on an airplane. It also gives you something to focus on. So instead of worrying about the airplane, you can maybe listen to your favorite song, a podcast, a movie, etc. For me personally, I usually listen to some kind of like deep house music mix or some kind of meditation music, which the meditation music actually also helps me fall asleep, which that's great because then I'm definitely not worried about the turbulence on the plane. Sleeping? So make sure you pack yourself some headphones. If you're flying like I think Delta or maybe United, they give out free earbuds as well. Use that, it helps block out all the noise and can help you sort of bring yourself back in so you're not distracted by everyone else freaking out on the airplane. The second thing I do to stop myself from freaking out on an airplane when there's turbulence or whatever is I, I always make sure to close my eyes. Closing my eyes like removes the visual stimulation of people and bags like moving around in front of me. It's like if you look forward on an airplane, you can see people moving around because the airplane is moving and that can be a little disorienting and if you're freaking out about the turbulence, that's definitely gonna make it worse. That's freaking me out. I actually did some research. It's kind of counterintuitive and it's different than car sickness. When you're sick in the car, you actually wanna keep your eyes open and looking straight so your mind can process the, the moving the objects moving past you. When you're on an airplane, you're so high up, you can't really see the ground. Like, I mean, you can see the ground if you're in a window seat, but you can't really get a good sense of the motion of what's happening. So I have not found that keeping my eyes open helps in this situation. Instead, I like to close my eyes and just zone out and that way I'm not distracted by all the moving heads and seats and things in front of me. The third tip, the third thing that I do to stop myself from freaking out when I'm on an airplane and there's turbulence is 
is to drop my stomach, is to physically allow my stomach to relax and fall down to where it needs to be. Some people don't know this, but the stomach uh, tightening sensation happens as a response to anxiety. And your body naturally wants to sort of tighten up like this and pull your stomach up. And that's where you get that sort of shortness of breath, which can lead to more anxiety. And just that is not where we want to go here, right? My anxiety? So practice allowing your stomach to drop back to where it needs to be. I've been told before that this is a trick that skydivers do before they jump out of an airplane to help sort of prepare them for the drop. So the way that I do this is I take a deep breath and then just let it all go and fall straight down. And if you really focus on the feeling, you can feel your stomach go back down to where it needs to be. Feels good, man. The fourth thing that I do if I'm freaking out on an airplane or there's turbulence or whatever, and um, this one I only really do if I feel like I need that extra um, sort of distraction from the turbulence, is I will repeat some kind of phrase in my head. It's kind of like the whole counting sheep mentality when going to sleep. If you can give yourself something to repeat mentally in your head or even maybe slightly audibly through, your, you know, if you want to mouth the words or whatever, it forces your mind to focus on the repetition of those words. And in effect, it distracts you from what's happening around. I need distractions. So for me personally, if I'm at that point where maybe the music's not helping, the eyes closed isn't helping, I'm still getting the sense of like turbulence that's freaking me out, my anxiety's rising, I'm getting all nervous is I will recite some kind of poem or a song lyric or some kind of weird chant that I come up with in my head and just repeat it over and over again. And by focusing on those words, I distract myself from the sensations of being in that airplane. Find a happy place. So one thing that I say to myself, and this is kind of weird, I don't know, I, I kind of visualize it as like, I'm speaking to the pilots of the plane and I'm going, Keep it easy, boys. Keep it smooth, boys. Keep it easy, boys. Keep it smooth. Come on, let's keep it smooth. It's almost like I'm like motivating them to keep the flight smooth and I feel like it works for me. And the last tip, the last thing that I do to help myself if I'm getting overwhelmed or feeling anxious or nervous about being in an airplane, especially when it comes to turbulence, is I make sure not to touch any part of the airplane with my body. Specifically, if I'm like in a window seat, I make sure that my arms or shoulders are not touching the window because as soon as I do, that's when I start to get bumped by the airplane and that sort of encourages the sensation of a bumpy flight. The turbulence stops. So I make sure to keep my arms away from the sides. If I'm sitting maybe in the aisle or in the middle, I get my hands away from the uh, armrest and instead I bring them in, like I either hold my hands or I put them on my lap or something or just do something else with my hands besides put them on the actual airplane. And by doing so, I'm like moved around less. I don't feel as shooken up by the turbulence. And so it kind of further separates me from the sensation of being on that airplane. Nice job. So yeah, those are five things that I personally do when I start to get a little freaked out, nervous, anxious about being on an airplane or when turbulence picks up, you know, the pilot says, you know, fasten your seatbelts, we're gonna hit some bumpy air. These are some of the things that I do to help me relax, and I'm hoping that they can be helpful to you as well. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments about anything in this video, please put it down below. I would love to chat with you. If you have comments about the blue light glasses situation, like do blue light glasses actually work, let me know because I am still discovering that for myself. Also, if you guys wanna see more of my travel vlogs, I do travel again, obviously, based on this video a lot and I have an entire uh, video YouTube channel focused on all the crazy adventures I get into, as well as other music industry and marketing and business and real estate related videos on this channel. Again, my name is Alexi Wayman. Thank you for coming and I will see you guys next time.